G'day guys, Chris King here from Chris King Soccer Coach. Here's a new drill that you can use at your next training session. All these drills are aimed for amateur grassroots coaches. Okay, so this one is called um, a rondo. And this is the original rondo. Okay, so it's from this book, Soccer Rondos, Volume 1. And here we have, so it's a 4v1 four four v situation here. And a rondo is simply keeping off so in this um, example, the four players are trying to keep the ball off that player in the middle. They're the defender, white number one, and the four attackers are passing the ball around the square. They can move up and down the lines. Um, and whoever makes the mistake uh, swaps with the player in the middle. Okay, so we'll just hit play. And number one passes to two, passes across the area, bouncing it around. Number one finally shuts it down, wins the ball, so they go out. Play starts again. So that's what a rondo you want. Lots of repetition. You don't want to stop starting. Two wins the ball. So swaps over with whoever made the mistake there. All right. So nice and simple. You can use a rondo in a small area. Uh, so they're great. I always use mine at the start of training, which gets the players involved, gets their brain, gets them using their brain. And with a rondo, you can get so many little passes in, in a five minute situation compared to a larger drill where you don't get as many touches. So rondos are great for defending. The defenders get to read what the attackers are doing. The attackers get to do one touch, two touch passes. Okay, they get to communicate, works on their fitness. It's, rondos are fantastic for lots of things and they're so adjustable. Uh, you can make it 4v1. Uh, another example here, that's a 4v2 situation. Just make the square a bit larger, have two defenders. And then if you have any more numbers, make it a circle. So in this case, we've got 5v2. Okay, you can keep the players in for a set amount of time. So you can keep them in for one minute, for example. Or the other option is to keep them in. And if they win the ball three times, then they go out. Or the other option is whenever the um, attacker makes a mistake, they swap with that defender straight away. So there's three options there. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you need any help, any drills, any coaching advice, just search Chris King Soccer Coach and you'll find me all over uh, the internet. Okay, thanks, guys. Happy coaching and catch you later.